Hey, this is Joshua Three Games, and this is the next part of my playthrough of Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic. Um, last time, I had to get through a door here, and it has a ton of troopers behind it, apparently. So we'll see if we can if we can get through this door and survive. Uh, activate the droid shields. You don't have enough repair parts. Uh, okay, guess I can't use the droid. Oh wait, or can I? Oh no, I don't have enough repair parts. Oh, unless there's something in this footlocker which might help me. More parts, maybe? Oh, loads of parts. Okay, guess I can have him help me. Hello there, buddy. Okay, so his shields are up and he's now in patrol mode. So he's gonna go in, I think. Holy shiite. Okay, you first. You can get fragged. Um, and then, oh no, yes, 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 and then you can get are, are you kidding me? That didn't do anything? Okay, let's get rid of these. Let's frag you again. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Well, that makes me happy. Ooh, prototype vibroblade. Let's have a look at that bad boy. Um, has it got better damage than my longsword? Yes, it has. Okay, that can go on there. Oh no, wait, no, I'll tell you what I do. I'll put. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. Two longswords, bitches. I'm good to go. You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. Who are you? I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on, there'll be time for questions later. It makes a fair point. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, and there's going to be another little movie here, so I'm going to pause it and I'll resume when I get there. Catch you in a second. Oh boy. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you on the escape pod. Do you remember? I had a strange dream. I'm Arcadian Corral, by the way. How did we get here? Karth, the one the communicator. Where am I? How did I get here? Um, I had a strange dream. I'm not surprised. You took a serious blow to the head. You're probably having all kinds of strange dreams. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things, but try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. Okay, the Sith? Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. Good point, buddy. You're right. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Ender Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Okay. Uh, how can one person, even a Jedi, being so important? Bastard's a Jedi, blah, blah, blah. Um. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Bastila any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's see start looking. Good let's idea. Go. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We could probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. 
heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. All right, let's do it. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to try and put the sound up a little bit for the voice volume. Um, because I've got my volume turned up really loud, and I'm wearing a headset, so I don't know if... I don't know, given YouTube's reliability, I don't know if it will have the sound be good enough for you. So I'll just um, do that. So basically, this is a workbench where you can upgrade stuff if you've got the uh, stuff to do it. Like I said, we can get a lightsaber later. Uh, but for now, we just got the vibro blade, so we'll add this thing, whatever it is. Vibration cell. So I'm guessing that's not for a lightsaber. Uh, but okay, that's fine. Okay. My pack's computer spikes. Awesome. Every time you leave the apartment, you must select which party members you wish to take. Since the first time you are leaving, you will have to take Karth. Fair enough. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall! This is a raid! That's how we Sith deal with smart-mouthed aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again! What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Well... This isn't good. Do you have any grenades? No, you don't. Okay. Alright, we'll power blast that fucker. You just go straight over here and... No, we don't even do that. No. Um, we'll have you critical, critical, critical. What? They speak really long for such a few amount of words. Ah, now I've got a first like, aggressive thing. Um, you can become like either light-sided or dark-sided, and in every game I pick the dark side, so I'm going to be really aggressive prick. Okay, whatever. Just don't get in my way. Ooh. Cool. Oh, we're breaking the hit. No problem. Got it. Ah, oh, I know this bit. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. Wanna bet? I'm just looking for something to steal, stay out of my way, and you won't get hurt. Uh, no. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig, Holden. Uh, who's Holden? Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. Uh, what do you mean? I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Let's try Persuade. No, I don't think so. I can't Aww. afford to trust anybody right now. Please, just leave me alone. Well, guess I'm going to have to threaten you. Tell me what's going on or I'll end all your problems. Permanently. Okay, I'll tell you. J just try and stay calm. The last thing I need is trouble with you and Holden. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. Okay, uh, I think I'll just collect that bounty. Wait, think about what you're doing. 
If that pig had just kept his hands to himself, I wouldn't have had to give him that scar with my vibroblade. He gets drunk and tries to force himself on me, and I get a bounty put on my head for defending myself. Where's the justice in that? Holden's the one to blame, not me. Bitch, this is a Sith-controlled planet. There's no such thing as justice. What's wrong with you? She doesn't deserve this. I didn't ask you, fuck nugget. All right. She sliced that guy up. She's only getting what she deserves. Then you're going to learn the same lesson I taught Holden. I'm not as helpless as I look. Wanna bet? <laughs> oh. oh, she hit me. She actually hit me. Ooh. Feisty woman. Med pack and credits. Uh, what else you got to steal? Bag. Alright. Tong hait wam ji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chu chut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. You. So basically, this guy's a merchant. Um, he does talk a lot of crap. Uh, so I am going to skip this guy. He basically like, tries to teach you about um, like energy shields and stuff. But they're not that amazing, apparently. So I don't, I don't care what your name is. Not telling Look, you I know we're trying to keep a low profile, but this kind of attitude will draw attention we don't need. Okay, I know all about energy shields. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let me see what you got to sell. Because I know he's got this heavy combat suit, which I want, so I'm going to buy that. And that's really all I want from this guy. So, we've crash landed, and within the first few moments of being here, we've already killed a Sith commander dude, two guards, and killed someone who had a bounty on her head. So we've got off to a flying start, considering we just got to this planet. Uh, anyway, it's towards the end of the episode, so I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Oh. And shut up. Uh, yeah. Shoot up. Go away. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I've been Joshua with Three Games. If you like this, subscribe, comment, uh, any suggestions, and leave a like if you really liked it. And have a nice day. Bye.